In this video, I'm going to talk about how to be taken seriously as a young entrepreneur and the absolute number one thing to never, ever, 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 ever do. Okay, let's go. So in this video, we're going to talk about some things that are going to make you a standout entrepreneur as a young entrepreneur the absolute thing you need to be focused on, the people you need to be hanging out with, and uh, the person that should be on your speed dial without fail. I can promise you that one person on speed dial changed my life and made me a very young millionaire. At the end of my whole video, which yes, you have to wait till the whole end, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to actually be in an event where you're guaranteed to make some money, you young entrepreneurs, so hang out. Let's talk about it. How do you do it? So if you're a young entrepreneur and for some of you, let's qualify that young could be age and young could be new, right? Cause I have a lot of clients in their forties and fifties. They had a career 20, 25 years, brand new entrepreneur, right? So what do you think? I would love like a comments. Let's do a vote right now. Put in the comments, the number one mistake that you think young entrepreneurs make young being new, young mean of age. And I've been both right. Ready? Go type, type, type you make an excuse for it. That's the number one mistake is you make an excuse for it. You know, so you'll start your talk track of, you know, my name's Laurel and I'm a money expert. And like I, when I did the cash flow game way back in the day, 1996, I wasn't a millionaire till 99. So there was a three year gap from when I started to while I became a millionaire. And I remember doing this exact mistake. I would say, well, I'm brand new. Like anybody cares, like mature entrepreneurs that you want to buy from you. The last thing they want to do is I'm new inexperienced. I mean, think of all the, 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 you know, that comes behind that. So new out of context is not a good starting point. You want to have reassurance that, you know, you're an expert, you're going to solve someone's, you know, problem, their concern. Cause that's what you do as an entrepreneur. You solve their problem. You meet, you know, meet their need, right? Write that down. You solve a problem, you meet a need. So what is the problem you're solving or the need you're meeting in your entrepreneurial venture? Know that, right? I solve problems of financial literacy is what I would say all the time. And then I kind of made a mistake early on. Another mistake is talk a lot. And then you got to follow through. It's like, right? Cause you, you're overcompensating for your lack of experience. So a lot of times you say things that you probably might not want to say. So I early on said I was going to make millionaires. Well, it turned out to be good because I actually did become the millionaire maker. But in those early years, I remember older people looking at me and I was in my twenties and they would be like, so, um, and you're experienced, uh, because why? And you're a millionaire. And then I just got a really good mentor and, uh, scripted this out. And I said, you know, I'm not a millionaire yet, but I'm going to be one and you're welcome to come along. And so I would just have these very confident forward talking, speaking points and how I talk about it. Never fake it till you make it. Cause that sounds fraudulent but you're going to act as if you're the superstar that you are from the beginning. You're not going to have all these distracting things. Women do it. And I always say, God put me in a woman's body so I can speak to you women. You do these ridiculous discrediting things when you begin. And even mature entrepreneurs, I hear women do it is, you know, I'm a this, I'm a this. And you know, I haven't sold a lot. So you want me to be the first buyer? Think of your language patterns for some of you that you're saying the most odd things, but wanting a completely different reaction from the person you're selling to. People who buy from you, they want confidence, they want certainty, they want experience. And I know you're out there saying, well, what if I don't have experience? Well, I'll get to that, but you're gonna have a mentor. Like I'm a mentor to thousands of people, so I am your experience. You're gonna say, I have experience on my team and I'm your teammate, I'm your mentor. That's how you're gonna to speak to that. That's how I spoke to it. And my mentor gave me that talk track. So I'm just borrowing and, and passing it on, right? So buyers, think about your buyer. They want someone that's experienced, confident, you know, an expert. They wanna buy from a baby beginner. I mean, they're kind of doing it out of sympathy sometimes and compassion. You don't wanna be that person. I'm gonna even go back further. I've had teenage millionaires. And you say, well, how do teenage millionaires get made? And I have a whole show on Barbara Walters about how to make teenage millionaires. Well, it takes parents that care. So the parents that cared and saw that their teenager had a better idea, right? They dropped their business and together legally, by the way, if you're under 18, your parent has to own the company. You can be on the documents with them. You can take it over at 18, but legally parent, you're going to have to do the work. So if you're out there listening and you're a teenager, you're going to get, have to get an 18 year old on your side. It doesn't have to be a parent, it just has to be an, a legal adult that can sign corporate documents. So all that being said, 
I love young entrepreneurs. I do this for young entrepreneurs. If you're older watching, give me your children. I will teach them. Sometimes they won't listen to you. They'll listen to me. And let's get this game on the road because all of you have an ability to make amazing money. But I can tell you that talk track and discrediting is the worst mistake you will ever make. Now let's get on to other things that I want you to do. So the next big piece and really urgent piece is who you spend time with. I mean, if you've been around, you've heard that saying is, you know, you're like the five or six people you surround yourself with. So if you're, you know, in a little group of friends and you're, you know, jumping out into a new world of being an entrepreneur, you're gonna have to find some other people who have more entrepreneurial energy. Otherwise you're gonna get drawn back into the activities you were doing and you're gonna need time to market, to sell, to talk about your company. A lot of times that friend group you're going to leave they're going to make fun and say what are you doing why are you trying to do that blah 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 if you have any of that conversation it's just an immediate you got to leave because you need support and if you're going from an employee to an entrepreneur you also need to stop hanging out with employees and i say that really strongly i worked at chevron for a few minutes first of all those employees aren't your friends you didn't know them before you walked in and you probably won't know them when you walk out and everybody says, yeah, but they're my best friends. No, they're your, your cubicle mates. You just became friends because you had spent a bunch of time during the day together. And I don't say that, I say that a little tongue in cheek and a little sarcastic, but it's true. I need you to spend time with entrepreneurs. You say, well, how do I do that? There's tons of entrepreneurial groups. We have calls almost every day for our entrepreneurial groups on how to make money, how to do marketing, how to do lead generation, how to do sales, how to manage cash flow. We have these calls all the time. So you jump in, which leads me to point three, you have got to have a mentor. I talked a lot about, you know, moving away from your friend group. So who do you spend time with? I would look up, I call them model companies. Find people that are in your category that you want to be like right? And they may be older, they may be younger. You might find a mentor in that, in your category of expertise where they can actually give you some apprenticeship and they can hang out with you. I know in my 20s, I was hanging out with a lot of people, right? Because I was in different groups of people and the successful people I wanted to be with were in their 30s and 40s, sometimes 50s. So it's okay that you have a large range. It's more level of interest. It's more motivation, but you want to have that support conversation and ideally the experience conversation. So when you're a young entrepreneur growing into it, you wanna lean in their experience. You want them to mastermind, which is talk about the things that you're, you're looking at, the projects you're looking at, the challenges that you're up against, because you will have challenges as an entrepreneur. Um, I always say, you know, there's not winners and losers, there's winners and lessons. All right. So I want you to really be around those kind of people who can see those challenges as lessons, help you frame it properly and continue on. So you don't get in this self-defeating attitude and energy. Cause in the beginning, being an entrepreneur, is some of the, you know, I'm going to say challenging, most muscle conditioning, strengthening thing that you're going to do for yourself on the other side of it, you're going to be so excited. You did it and you jumped. So before we talk about mentoring, which I think is one of the most pivotal parts of this conversation, I want you to give me a thumbs up, right? Doesn't take a lot of time. Matters a lot to me. YouTube is going to show my video a lot more and subscribe, like pass this on. The more you're here, the more also you're going to see other people here, right? So take one out of the playbook and start noticing other people who are here all the time. And maybe that becomes part of the people you hang out with because they're all interested in this conversation. Now, mentoring. I was a really young entrepreneur. At 13 years old, I was mowing lawns. At 17, going off to college, I started my first business, personal trainings, doing aerobics instruction. So I was a really young entrepreneur. And really, I was out of not like a big choice, like, oh, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. It's like, I got to pay my way through school. I got to pay bills. And having a job is like so odd and fixed, you know? I'm, I made 40 bucks an hour being a personal trainer. I say that because I immediately saw the need for someone who's had experience, right? So I found some at 17 years old that had tons of business experience to be my mentor. Soon after, I asked a bank president to be my mentor. I remember him looking at me going, like, I, I don't mentor, what are you wanting from me? I said, well, I wanna know how rich people invest and you obviously have the money of rich people. So I wanna talk to you about money. And he said, well, how would this work? He said, I, you can't afford me. I said, oh, well, I'll take you out for lunch or I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyway, we just had this fun relationship. He mentored me honestly for free for a while and then actually gave me $10,000 to start a first fitness center in one of his boardrooms of his uh, bank because he just loved my enthusiasm and energy and I did what I said and I'm giving you a lot of cues. 
do what you say, follow through, like get that recognition of being a doer and having the inspiration. I love helping kids who do that. I help tons and tons of college athletes. I help tons of teenagers get their businesses started and even young entrepreneurs. A mentor is somebody, let's go through that. A mentor is someone who's going to share their experience first and foremost. Um, do they have to be in your industry? Not necessarily, like I'm very broad. I'm an entrepreneurial wealth building mentor, so I can go across a lot of industries and categories. They also need to share your Rolodex, right? Who do they know that can leapfrog you forward and faster? The other one is because of the experience, they're gonna help you avoid really costly errors. So I always point to those three things. So a lot of times people say, well, what's the mentor gonna do? Share their experience, right? Get out their Rolodex and help you avoid very costly mistakes. And then there's a whole bunch more, but those are my big three. And typically like in my community, I have mastermind groups where you can join topically, talk about different you know, things that you wanna learn about, you need to learn about from marketing to sales, to what do you do on your first investing as you start acquiring money? How do you hire? How do you do all these things? We have conversations and masterminds about all of these. If you're interested in learning how to make money fast, 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 and be a great entrepreneur, I want you to click on the link below. Inside the link, I'm giving you a free ticket. It's a gifted ticket on me to my marketplace. So my marketplace is phenomenal. We do them on a regular basis and you bring your product or service and I teach you a very clear structure on how to make money. Now, once you get the ticket, we do ask for a $47 commitment fee. That's gonna hold your little feet to the fire because if you don't show up, I'm making $47. If you show up, I'm gonna give it back to you. So I'm starting to train you to behave like a responsible entrepreneur. So I look forward to helping you young entrepreneurs get into the business, make money with no money, learn to bootstrap, get some funding, and have some fun.